Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us again for another session of uh, Condition Report 4. This morning, we had a great conversation talking about making collective history. Uh, and uh, that somehow led us to talking about uh, collective practice and economy or economies. Here, we would like to address uh, the financial part of economy, but also the relationality uh, between people who make a collective. Uh, and uh, for this session, we are happy to have uh, our colleague Farid Aditama Rakun as a moderator. Farid is uh, one of the members of uh, Rangrupa in Indonesia. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit of, her bi of his biography and then uh, uh, give more information about our other speakers. Trained as an architect, Farid Rakun wears different hats, depending on who is asking. Uh, depending on who is asking, a visiting lecturer in the architecture department of Universitas Indonesia, he is also part of the artist collective Rangrupa, with whom he co-curated transaction Sonsvik 2016 in Arnhem, Netherlands. As an instigator, he has permeated various global institutions such as Centre Pompidou in France, La Biennale de Venezia, MMCA Seoul, Charge Biennale, Biennale de Sao Paulo, Arun Farok Institute, Dutch Art Institute, Creative Time, Haute Ecole d'Art et de Design de Genève, and Basis Vour Actuel Kunst. He has worked for Jakarta Biennale in different capacities since 2013 and currently serves as an advisor. So for, the, for this panel, we have uh, Bouba Touré, who will be representing the collective Sewing Somanki Dikura, uh, that is uh, in Mali. The farming cooperative of Somanki Dikura in Mali was established in 1977 by 14 people. With a militant and migrant workers background, the group first met in Paris in the collective ACTAF, Cultural Association of African Workers in France, initiated to support the ongoing liberation struggles on the African continent and the migrant workers movement in France. After the Sahel drought in 1973, the group started to think of alternative economic and farming practices in the villages. After some agricultural internship, the group made their militant return on the Senegal River near the city of Kai, on a crossroad of migration in order to settle a farming cooperative. The cooperative still exists to this day and was at the initiative of the Free Radio, Radio Rural, and of URCAC, a regional farmer union. This morning, we, uh, you, we, for those who were here for the very first session, the film screening, we watched the film Sewing So Monkey Dikura that was realized by uh, filmmaker Raphael Grisé and uh, that kind of documented the work that the community has been doing in Kai uh, before in a way, but mostly in the present. Uh, so this is the occasion to also go further in the discussion that started in the morning. We also have uh, Wong Kaying from our Hong Kong Artists Union. Established in 2016, Hong Kong Artists Union has recruited over 300 members. Their services available to Hong Kong artists include but are not limited to providing legal consultancy, advocating for equality and fighting for fair treatment by organizing talks, workshops, exhibitions, calling for strikes and protests, etc. The Hong Kong Artists Union endeavors to unite the multitude of individual artists for the cause, aware of the shift of mobilization in social change, and is committed to build a platform for networking artists who tend to work individually rather than collaboratively. We, so our third speaker will be Tarana Halim, who will be representing Shoni Mongol Ada, another artist collective based here in Dhaka. Shoni Mongol Ada is the name of a an utopian, organic, untiring movement. In 2016, some Adabas, Chati or Gossipi, from different professionals gathered at different places for chit chat. Mainly, they gathered for a formal place of art discussion. They look into a place where to meet and take snacks and can make the gathering effective. Test of Kakhail is that cafe where they treated up. After almost one and a half year, 
So taste of kakra is also called tok. Uh, after almost one and a half year, Tok closed down and then six members of Shoni Mongol Ada started their struggle to settle the cafe. There were two targets, solving their own economical crisis and continue Ada in such a nice, friendly environment. So then the war has started with all stuffs of Tok. All six artists started their new experimental and exciting, also challenging journey named Cafe Rilly. It was exceptional and magnificent. Café Rilly and Shoni Mongol Ada are made for each other. Shoni Mongol was not paid by Café Rilly, but without the Café Rilly, the space Shoni Mongol Ada is unsinkable. I will pass the microphone to Farid, and I wish us all a nice session. Thank you. Thank you, Marie Ellen. Also, thank you for Dulce uh, to invite me here in this different tent, different use of the tent that me and my colleagues from good school used in different way. Uh, so it's refreshing again. Uh, but then what we're going to do right now is started with Mr. Buba, and then after that, Mr. Rana, and then, I'm sorry, I called, uh, I call her KY because uh, that's how I knew her from before. So I, I will go with KY last. So. Please. I salut tout le monde. I greet everyone here. Et merci beaucoup de venir si nombreux pour voir un peu notre histoire. Thank you for coming here to be able to see a bit of our story. C'est une histoire particulière en Afrique. It's a particular story in Africa. Parce que c'est un village que nous avons construit. It's a village that we constructed en 1977. In 1973. The story that you see here is a theatrical story, the theatrical story that we um, created. Qui s'appelle Trana, l'immigration temporaire. Which is called Trana, l'immigration temporaire. Universe, temporaire, temporary universe. Parce que ma société soniqué au Mali, Sénégal, et Mauritanie. Because my society in Mali, Senegal, Mauritanie. and Mauritanians, Et on bouge, on, on voyage beaucoup. we traveled a lot. Mais nous pas de en un endroit But we did not have the, we, we were not used to install in a place definitely. Mais malheureusement, l'immigration vers la France. But unfortunately, the migration towards France. C'est une immigration qui est devenue stable. Um, it's a migration that became stable. Et pour une simple raison. And for a simple reason. Parce qu'en 1974, le gouvernement de France a fait des cartes séjour aux Africains. Because in 1974, France made a resident permit for Africans. Et quand il n'y avait pas de cartes séjour, on pouvait y aller comme on veut, on partait, on revenait. Mais depuis qu'il y a des cartes séjour, les gens sont restés. But when there was no carte de séjour, a resident permit, people could go and come back. But once there was a um, resident permit, um, it forced people to stay. Parce que tu ne peux plus aller comme ça faire des retours, sinon ta carte, une fois que la date expirée, tu ne peux plus rentrer. So you could not just go back because once your card, your resident permit would expire, then you couldn't come back in. Et je sais que nos conditions de vie en France, ils sont très difficiles. And God knows that our condition of life in France is very difficult. C'est ça qui nous a pris conscience de dire qu'il faut qu'on fasse quelque chose pour trouver la solution. And that made us conscious to say that we have to find a solution. Pour que les jeunes ne quittent plus le village pour aller travailler en France. So that people will not leave their villages to go and work in France. Et c'est comme ça que nous avons créé la coopérative agricole de Somankirikroa. And that's how we created the Cooperative um, agricole, Agricultural Cooperative um, Summa Kedi Kora. In 1977. We were 14. We were 14. But now we're more than 600 that live in this village. And we live from agriculture. Agriculture biologique. Biological agriculture. Organic. On n'a jamais utilisé l'engrais ou on n'utilisera jamais d'engrais. We'll never use um, fertilizers and we'll, or, and we'll never do. Tout ce que nous, tout ce que nous mangeons, ça vient de nos champs. 
Everything that we eat comes from our fields. Voilà, c'est à peu près cette histoire que vous allez voir en image. And this is a story that you're going to see with the images. Et après maintenant, si vous avez des questions à poser, je suis disposé, même si je ne parle pas l'anglais, en tout cas, je suis là pour ça, répondre à toutes vos questions par rapport à la coopérative. Okay, and so after you see this, if you have any questions for him, you can always ask. And even though he doesn't speak English, he will be able to answer your questions. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Precise. Alors ici, nous étions en train de construire les canals. So here we were in the process of making the canals. Alors là, ça c'est en France, nous avons fait des stages chez les paysans. And this is in France, and we were doing a kind of workshop with the um, farmers. Voilà, l'est de la France. In the east of France. Et les le, le villages, comme vous voyez, ça s'appelle Courcelles sur Orgeon. And the village that you see here is uh, Courcelles sur Orgeon. En Haute-Marne. In Et là, ça, c'est les copains avec lesquels euh, nous, euh, on était tous les membres de la coopérative et les amis français qui viennent nous voir de temps en temps. And here we are with our friends that are part of the cooperative, the agricultural, and during the agricultural internship, and they came to visit us. Là, j'étais, c'est mon maître de stage, la famille dans laquelle j'avais fait six mois de stage. And here is with the family that I stayed and did the six, um, six, six, oh wait, six, mois. Uh, six, six mois months mois. of um, workshop. Donc, en 1978, Sidney Sorona a fait un film sur mon histoire. And in 1978, um, Sidney Sorona made the film um, Freedom of Speech or Safana. Voilà. Bon, là, ça, c'est le, la, la lutte. Bon, c'est des cinémas qui parlent, c'est un, un film qui a eu de grands prix de cinéma français. Bon, ça c'est, ouais. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a French film that is about the fight or the lutte. You said la lutte? Oui. Um, it's a French film. En 1947. Bon, c'est aussi la vie des de paysans à français à, à cette période-là, 1947. Et à l'époque, on travaillait beaucoup avec les bœufs en France. Okay, and this was the um, story about the, uh, the farmers um, in this area in France. And it was made in 1947. Um, Enfin, ouais, on travaille, oui, on travaille beaucoup avec les bœufs. And they worked a lot with the cows. Mm. Mm. Voilà, alors c'est un, un cinéaste français qui avait fait un film où ça, la vie des paysans en France. And this is a film made um, about the farmers in France. Et le film s'appelle Big Far, comme vous voyez. And the film is called Big Far, as you see, and it was done in 1983. Voilà, ça c'est euh, euh, ceux qui ont vu les films hier, euh, pardon ce matin, et là où nous avons tourné euh, euh, Lutte Continua, et c'est un endroit où les gens ils font des maraîchages. Ok, and here was the place, this is the area where they filmed the film that you saw this morning, um, and here they do a maraîchage, what's a maraîchage <laughs> <laughs> Irrigation, it's kind of an irrigation. Yeah. There's certain words that I'm not so sure about. Là, ça c'est ma région au Mali, à l'ouest, à l'ouest du Mali, la région qui s'appelle Kai. Les temps coloniales, les le gouvernement français avait fait. Okay, this is my region in Mali, and it's a place that is called Kai, and during the time, colonial times. Et ils font des cultures de cisal. So they made um, the plantation of cisal, which is um, cisal. Oui, yeah, on faisait des sacs avec yeah. euh, des cordes. Uh -huh. When you, and with that, you make, you make cords, you make ropes, yeah. Et c'était le temps des travaux forcés. And it was at that time uh, forced work. It was forced workers that were forced to work. Voilà, c'est les conditions de vie des travailleurs dans cette plantation là. And this is a condition of the lives of the workers here during that time. 
Et puis après aussi, il bon, y a eu des, des tracteurs, mais bon, les tracteurs qui, qui avaient des rôles minimes par rapport aux les travaux, les travaux manuels. Okay. And then at one point in time, they had the tractors, but the tractors, had, they weren't, they, it wasn't so, the tractors were, was not as intense as the work that the laborers had to do. The manual work was quite intense compared to working with the tractors. Voilà, ça c'est après maintenant, une fois que cette euh, culture, enfin, si ces plans arrivent en France, et ça, ici c'est à Marseille, les travailleurs et les ouvrières, c'était des femmes qui, qui, qui continuaient le travail, qui finissaient en fait le travail. So once the CISAL arrived in France, this is a factory where the women would actually continue the work from the, using the CISAL. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being this. Ouais. Là, ça, c'est à peu près le même endroit. Alors, ici, bon, je, je vous ai raconté notre prise de conscience sur l'immigration. So, here, I want to talk to you about our um, enlightenment, our way of, um, with regards to migration. C'est pourquoi nous avons écrit, on a fait une pièce théâtrale, et le titre, m'a fait le titre, c'est « L'immigration, quelle solution ?» So we made a theatre piece which is called Immigration, What Solution? Or Migration, What Solution? C'est le texte de cette, euh, cette pièce théâtrale. And this is the text of the theatre piece. Voilà qui je l'avais écrit en 1975. And I wrote this in 1975. Là, ça c'est pour vous montrer les plans où nous sommes installés au bord du fleuve Sénégal. So this is the plan where we installed ourselves around the, the river, the Senegal River. Ah, vous voyez à, à, à droite, Kai, nous sommes à 20 km de cette, de cette ville. So you see at the right, Kai, we are about 20 km from the side of the... Quel côté? Uh, à l'ouest. Of the west. À l'ouest. Mm -hmm. Voilà, ça c'est les fleuves. Fleuve Sénégal, the Senegal River, qui est, qui est euh, qui part de la Guinée, which comes starts from Guinée, Sénégal, Sénégal, Mali, Mali, et la Mauritanie, et Mauritanie. C'est quatre pays. It goes through four countries. Nous avons eu beaucoup beaucoup de chance. We're very lucky. Parce que quand on est arrivé, il n'y avait pas encore de barrages. So when we arrived, there were no barriers. Maintenant, il y a des barrages. But now there are barriers. Pour retenir de l'eau, pour to retenir l'eau. hold the water back. Parce qu'avant, l'eau allait Atlantique directement. So normally, water just went through normally. Maintenant, l'eau est retenue maintenant, qui nous permet de faire des irrigations. So water has been held back, which allows them to do the irrigations. Voilà, ça c'est les les copains. Et il y a quelques membres fondateurs de la coopérative. Okay. So these are our friends and also some members of the cooperative, the founding, founding members of the cooperative. Mais ce sont des jeunes qui s'intéressent à notre histoire, qui sont venus nous voir, qui sont venus du Sénégal. So they're also young people that were interested in our story, interested in what we do, and they came from Senegal. Comme je vous dis, alors maintenant, eh, les type de culture que nous faisons et maintenant c'est dans tout, tous nos pays maintenant. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that the, the type of agriculture that we do is now spread toward in the whole country. C'est tout, hein? Okay. Ah, eh ben, c'est euh, comment euh, 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 à côté de chez nous, ma fait c'était parce que le, le village n'était pas encore euh, complètement fini, mais on a fait, fait cette photo là juste en face de nous qui s'appelle un village qui s'appelle Samé. Ok, so we made this picture well, with a group of all the people, which is just in front of a, a, a place that we called Samé. But elle demandait t'es où dans la photo? Ah, je suis en bas assis avec euh, la casquette. So he's at the bottom, um, sitting down, and he's the one with the casket. On a complètement bas. Really je je souriais, je j'avais à l'époque où mes dents étaient blanches. At that time, his teeth was white. Moi, j'étais jeune aussi, hein. He was young. I was young. <laughs> 
Alors là, ça, c'est, les, c'est un bâtiment eh, colonial. Colonial building. Et les temps colons. And during the time of the colons. Et donc, oh, comme je disais tout à l'heure, il y avait des travaux forcés. And as I said before, it was the forced work, forced labor, forced les, working. Les gens comprenaient un peu partout de la région, Mali, Sénégal, Mauritanie, la Guinée, fait toute la zone. And the people that came from Mali, Senegal, and from that region. Yeah. Et donc, oh, eh, c'est là où les ouvriers habitaient. And this is where the workers lived. Alors, eh, comme je vous dis, la coopérative de Soman Kirikroa, nous avons un, un, un statut de coopérative. So, as I said, the cooperative of Soman Kirikura, uh, we have a statute, a state, that status is a cooperative. Ce monsieur-là, c'est un juriste, il est venu nous expliquer euh, l'avantage des de types d'associations qu'on on devait opter pour euh, les villages. Okay, and this is someone that came to give um, advice and on what kind of structure they should take on. C'était en 1978, comme vous voyez. And this is 1978. C'était après ça que nous avons choisi comme coopérative. And Et it's after this we decided to become a cooperative. Alors, comme je disais ce matin, les, les statuts de coopérative chez nous, la terre qu'on a, so, as I said this morning, the status of cooperative that we have. Et nous avons droit de l'exploiter, mais nous n'avons pas le droit juridique, ma fait d'exploiter, ma fait de propriété, voilà. Okay, they have the right to exploit the land, but they don't have the right to own the land. En Afrique, dans notre tradition euh, euh, africaine, nous avons droit d'usage. They have the right to use within this context. Mais nous n'avons pas le droit de propriété. But we do not have the right to own. La terre que nous exploitons ne nous appartient pas si jamais qu'on part. The land that they are using um, does not belong to them. And if they, if they leave it, it does not, it's, it's not theirs. Quelqu'un d'autre peut venir, quelles que soient les réalisations que nous avons faites. Um, someone else can come and take over and use the land, um, no matter what they've done on that land. Ça nous convient bien. And that goes for them, it's perfectly well, it's perfectly okay. Là, ça c'est moi, je suis, j'étais devant ma case. Uh, this is me in front of my, my case like hot. Comme je vous ai dit, c'est un endroit, il n'y avait rien. As I said, it was an area that had nothing. C'est nous qui avons fait enlever les arbres, tout ça, on a construit nos cases. Um, we were the ones that took off the, take out the trees and then we also constructed the buildings that were on the je, Là, je suis devant ma case. And here I'm in front of my building, my, my hut. Alors, je vous signale que ce n'est plus comme ça. Hein. Oh, I have to tell you, it's no more like this. Mais nos cases sont toujours en terre. But our houses or our buildings are all made with earth. Et pas de ciment. No cement. Parce que c'est trop chaud ça pour nos régions. Because it's just too hot for our region. Et la terre nous convient bien. And the earth is perfect for us. Alors, le canal que vous allez voir, c'est un canal que nous avons construit avec la terre de termitière. Okay, the canal that you see is the it's the canal that we built using the earth from the termite, the term, termite, yeah, build, termite, termite. Yeah. Voilà, c'est la terre de termitière. Ant hills, yeah. So we, this is the earth that of from the ant hills. <laughs> alors, ça, alors le jour de notre arrivée, c'était une fête. So the day of our arrival, there was a big party. Et tous les responsables administratifs de la région étaient venus nous, enfin, nous, nous voir et nous féliciter. So all the administrative people and the, that were there came and they were there to also congratulate them. Donc c'est un de nos représentants, enfin, c'est les, les films, la, la, la photo est passée, qui, est, qui, est, qui, voilà, qui remercie un peu la, la présence de tous ces responsables politiques qui sont venus nous, 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 nous voir. So this is one of our representatives that was thanking all the representatives and all the administrative people that came and so he was thanking them. Uh, ça, c'est, la, c'est la photo de notre premier anniversaire. Ah, uh, this is a photo of the first anniversary. Là, nous avons commencé à faire des travaux. Ça, c'est des pépinières, mais en noir et blanc, ça ne se voit pas bien. Mais bon, ça, c'est la coopérative. So they started... Les, les, les pépinières, pardon. Les 
15 years. Okay. Mm. So they started making, um, working on the land, and this uh, the, the seed nurseries that, um, but of course, we don't see the color, but yeah, it's in black and white. <laughs> mm. Là, ça c'est bon. On a, vous voyez, le canal est déjà fait, donc c'est un de nous. So you see the canal is already done and this is us. Moi, je faisais des photos toujours à occasion parce que comme j'avais pas beaucoup de pellicules, quand les gens ils viennent nous voir, on fait des photos. Okay, so you I always made pictures, but I made it during specific occasions, especially when people will come to see us, then I would make pictures because the film you didn't have much of uh, the film. Uh, Là, c'est le, vous voyez la, la pompe en bas qui nous permettait de faire des, des irrigations. On a, vous avez vu le fleuve. Yeah. Voilà. Alors, um, so now you see that we have a pump at the bottom which allowed us to bring in water from the river, the Senegal River that passed by. Hmm. Voilà le fleuve. And this is the river. Hmm. Voilà, ça c'est la carte de la région. This is the map of the region. Comme je vous dis, le fleuve prend sa source en Guinée. As I said, the, the, the river takes its source from Guinea. Donc, euh, il se jette euh, Atlantique euh, à celui au fleuve Sénégal. Then, dans, 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 oui, au côté Sénégal. Then it goes into the, the, the river, the, the sea, the Atlantic Sea at the side of Sénégal, the area of Sénégal. Voilà, c'est pourquoi j'ai dit que bon, voilà, c'est la Guinée, Mali, Sénégal et Mauritanie. And that's why I said it was Guinea, Mali, Senegal, and Mauritania. Voilà, comme vous voyez, comme je disais tout à l'heure, c'est les mêmes familles comme ça, et dans toute cette zone-là, mais là, qui sont devenus dans comment, euh, comment des nationalités de différents pays. Voilà. But um, normally, we're, it's one group of people, it's one nation, but now it's all divided into, you know, different nations. Et moi, j'ai expliqué ça à tous les amis. Les pays, les mots pays n'existaient pas chez nous, mais comme on, les Occidentaux, les colons. Ils ont fait ça partout, même on, ici en Asie où on est. Il euh, y en a qui sont devenus Bengalais, Indiens, et ainsi de suite. Bon, nous, c'est la même chose. Hein. So, we, in, normally, we didn't have that notion of nation states. We were just different groups of people. And we also see the same thing here. Like, before it was one group of people, but now we have the, Bang, the from Bangladesh, from Pakistan, from India. Um, yeah, so, and this was all designed by the... The colonial powers. <laughs> Someone else's work. No, it's you. No, no, no. I prefer. It's you. Yes, yes. So, the VS, VS, the organization of the Fleuve Senegal. Um, OMVS is the organization of the rivers of Senegal. Alors c'est une euh, euh, structure mise en place par les quatre pays dont je vous ai parlé. So it's a structure that has been put in place by the four countries that I talked to you about. Et c'est euh, cette organisation justement qui a construit maintenant les, les différents canaux pour retenir de l'eau. So these are the organization that builds the different canals um, to re to um, to hold or uh, ah, retenir hmm? hold down. Hold down. Oh, dams hold down. because canoe is it dam okay the barrage the barrage because oui. you said canoe voilà ah, okay. no no the barrage the barrage, barrage okay. oui. désolé no no, no problem <laughs> so they are the ones that <laughs> built the dams to be able to hold back the water bon là ça c'est c'est pareil c'est la euh, c'est la le premier anniversaire so this is the first anniversary c'est donc les, les, les amis blancs que vous voyez, ce sont des, des gens chez lesquels nous avons fait six mois de, de stage en France. Um, the white people that you see here are the people that we did the stage or the workshop and stayed with them for six months in France. Alors c'est là où nous avons inauguré le nom de notre village. Il s'appelle Somanki Dikura. 
So this is where we inaugurated, this is when we inaugurated the name of our village, which is called Somankidi Kura. Qui veut dire Nouveau Somankidi. Which means new. Nouveau. So, nouveau. New. Nouveau Réunion. Ouais. Ouais. Voilà. Bon, je ne suis pas là, c'est moi qui... Alors là, ça, c'est des, avec des copains. Euh, avant d'aller à Somankiri Kura, créer nos Somankiri Kura, nous faisons tous nos travaux nous-mêmes. Okay, these are with friends, and before we went to Somankiri, we did all the works ourselves. Donc, on faisait notre cuisine nous-mêmes. They made their own food. Et à la région, on n'avait jamais vu un homme faire la cuisine. And in that region, they had never seen a man make food. Mais nous, on était les premiers, justement, les gens, ils ne comprenaient pas quoi. So they were the first, and people did not understand why, mm. how. Come. Voilà, je suis avec des copains. And so he's with his friends. Mm. <laughs> Là, on est devant les cases, quand on est arrivé devant les cases dans lesquelles on dormait, euh, dans le village, ancien village, avant de faire son manquille de croix. So they were, this is in front of the house, the buildings that they built um, before they installed, made the Somankidi Kura. Voilà, vous me reconnaissez là? Um, do you recognize me there? Hein? <laughs> the right. À droite. À droite. Voilà, j'ai... À droite. Et bon, donc là, comme je vous ai dit, j'étais jeune et puis j'étais pas gros. Voilà, et, puis, I was really young and I wasn't et on travaillait, on travaillait beaucoup aussi. And here we worked a lot there, so yeah. <laughs> Là, vous voyez, comme je vous ai dit, nous faisons notre lave-vaisselle nous-mêmes. Um, and as I said, we also did our plates, washed our plates by by, them, <laughs> by themselves. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Ah, oui, mais c'est, c'est oui. alors parce que en Afrique, vous savez, eh, on était dans une, on est dans une région eh, très conservateur. Yeah, so you know in Africa, in Africa, um, we were in a region which was very conservative. Il y a des tâches qui sont automatiquement pour les femmes. Il y a des, il y a des bon. En tout cas, tout ce qui est la cuisine et c'est la femme. The, the different things that have made are done by women and everything that has to do with food or the kitchen is a woman's affair. Et faire la vaisselle est la même chose. And washing plate is a woman's affair. Voilà, mais nous, on faisait tout nous-mêmes. But we did everything ourselves. Bon, parce qu'on n'avait pas de choix, parce qu'on n'avait pas de femmes, on était seuls. Hein? Oh, because we had no choice and they didn't have women or wives, <laughs> so they had to do it. Bien qu'après, quand même, qu'on ait des femmes, on a continué à les aider. Bon, là, ça, c'est... But, uh, le... Non, non, je précise, à les aider. OK, hein? but, we, but even later, when we had wives, we still help them. We help them. <laughs> bon, là, on est au bord du fleuve, donc nous faisons nous-mêmes notre, euh, comment on appelle, la lessive. Uh, no. So we were by the river and we were doing our, washing our clothes. Voilà. Bon, euh, là encore on était là. Bon, après le travail, on s'est lavé dans les fleuves. So after work, we went to the river to take our bath and showers. Ouais, bon, bon alors comme on était une jeune assez révolutionnaire, donc on, on levait souvent les points. Um, so since we were young and we were also revolutionary uh, people, we most times lifted our hands up. Voilà. Là, ça, c'est le moment de petit déjeuner. That's the moment of our breakfast time. Là, c'est, on a commencé à faire des irrigations, le moment où on est en train de morcer les siphons, on appelle ça. Oh. Vous verrez le reste. Ouais. Um, so we started by doing the irrigation. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, ouais. Morcer le siphon, ça c'est très petit. Des tuyaux, des tuyaux. Okay, like des tuyaux, sucking là. out, okay. uh, sucking the... the Ouais. Siphoning the, the ouais. pipes. Ouais. 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 Bon, là, on est en train de. Alors, je vous dis, nous avons planté, planté beaucoup, beaucoup d'arbres. So we, we planted a lot, a lot of trees. On a planté à peu près plus de 25 000 arbres. So we planted about maybe up to about 25,000 trees. Parce que c'est une région où les gens n'avaient pas la tradition de planter des arbres. So it's a region where people don't, did not have the, it wasn't normal to be able to, to plant trees. Et c'est pourquoi quand on dit euh, les déserts avancent, c'est parce que les gens ne plantaient pas des arbres. 
Um, so when they say that the, the desert is coming closer and entering in, it's because people were not planting trees. And là, donc, nous avons ces arbres-là, nous avons fait venir de, de du Nigeria. Ah, okay, mm. uh, my country. Um, <laughs> So he said that the trees we brought it from Nigeria. Alors historiquement c'est des arbres que euh, le Nigeria ils ont ils ont ils ont eu où ils les ont expérimenté ça a marché parce que c'est très bon pour les pays chauds. Okay. So the normally these trees that we got from Nigeria are things are trees that have been tried and planted and it's normally very good for very hot regions. C'est quoi le nom de de l'arbre? Alors nous on l'appelle ça nîme. Ah, ok, so they call the tree Nîm. Voilà. Bon, là, ça, c'est, on vient un peu en arrière, c'est le moment de la construction. Les, euh, la termitière que vous avez vue. The anthill that you saw. Bon, donc, on est en train de construire le canal avec cette terre-là. Um, we're in the process of making the canal with the earth of the anthills. Bon, là, ça, c'est en 1977. And this was 1977. Là où nous avons commencé à semer. Here we started planting. C'est le moment des semis. Alors nous, on, on, on consomme beaucoup de maïs. Um, so we eat a lot of corn. Voilà, c'est le moment des semis de maïs. So it, was time to, it was time to plant the seeds of the corn. Là, ça c'est le moment où on était en train de uh, comment enlever les choses des arbres. On est en train de dessoucher. Okay. And here we were in the process of desoucher. I don't know what desoucher is. Ouais. Enlever les, les souches. Enlever les souches. Okay. Oh, it's on train de. They're, they're in the process of uprooting the trees. Voilà. Oui. On n'a pas beaucoup de temps. C'est fini. Donc, il oh, n'y a pas de problème. Oh, ok. Yep. Ok. Il est. D'accord. Ok. Non, mais là, bah, je pense que vous avez vu l'essentiel. I think you've seen the essentials. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Parce que notre histoire est tellement vaste. Um, because our story is so big. Et si je vous me donnez le temps, moi, toute la journée, je peux le prendre. Mais so il vaut mieux que d'autres passent qu'on le voit, qu'on les entende. Okay, so if you give me the time, you can take the whole day. So it's better that others start. Je vous remercie infiniment. I thank you so much. Good afternoon, I'm Tarana Halim. Uh, I'm an artist and a sculptor, and uh, I'm a representative here as from Shoni Mongoladda. Um, this is our, uh, some uh, pictures and videos from our Adda area. I think you will enjoy it. And uh, as uh, you know that Shoni Mongoladda is a uh, organic, utopian, and untiring movement. And it's a very conceptual and uh, conceptual movement. And uh, it's um, what I'd say that um, some artists are moving around, roaming around to sit, uh, to get, get together and uh, make uh, a perfect and effective discussion about art. So they think that they need a space to sit together, uh, talk about uh, art, culture, that's they find out a place that is named first, that is named is Talk, Taste of Kakrail. And then there we sit together, uh, we discussed about different matri uh, different types of art, different, uh, uh, different, uh, what I say, different professional people over the, are over there, gathered together, and they asked, talked about their uh, thoughts about art, their concepts about art, whatever they like. We don't have any barrier uh, to select an, uh, select an artist or a participant uh, because um, we have no curator, curator system and it's an open platform for all. So, well, so, it's, so we don't have any, also any, uh, it's, it's not a organization, not a uh, registered organization or it's not, it's, there is no uh, confirm platform or any rules and regulation, but there is a rules and regulation we maintained that is uh, not written up, but 
uh, very connective to each other, uh, our, our locality and also with our artist. So that is the way we started. After one and a half year, uh, the cafe talk, uh, the owner of the cafe talk wanted to stop that cafe. Then six of our artists wanted to uh, run that cafe with a new name, with a new struggle that is called Cafe Really. Uh, they took the cafe and they started a cafe. And that is not a part of Shoni Mongol, but it's a part of Shoni Mongol because six artists run cafe. Uh, they they are preparing their food. They are they are making. They wants to run the cafe smoothly and also uh, run the adda smoothly. Adda means cheating, chitty chatty, gossiping. I think you will understand that. Uh, then uh, after then. Um, after two years, uh, the Adda, the cafe, cafe really also stopped for some various reason. Then one another artist took the cafe, and now it's named Cafe Kamor. It is near to Shilpokala. Uh, so because of that, that the Shoni Mongol Adda can run smoothly. So that is the place we, where we sit. Uh, I have to explain you one thing that Shoni Mongol Adda means Saturday, Tuesday, gossipy, Saturday, Tuesday, chatty in English. In Bangla, that is Shoni Mongol Adda. Uh, so uh, there are musicians here, you see, uh, different professions people gathered there. They express their feelings, uh, they, present, they can present their topics, their thoughts uh, in their own way. And we have a part. Um, um, we have a system in to grow up that uh, economical side. That is, uh, there is a piggy bank. Uh, in our cafe, in our Adda, we keep maintain a piggy bank, transparent piggy bank. Say it's a, it's a Adda. Today, I am here with you people. I'm giving my presentation. And you are my uh, guests. I am your host. And there is a piggy bank here. And you people come to enjoy my presentation and you will give some uh, money, whatever you like, because we have some refreshment. So you can give the money on that piggy bank, put the money on that piggy bank. And then after, uh, end, after the end of the session, we, the um, persons who are running Shoni Mongol Adda, so we go to the we collect the money from the piggy bank and then we count it and we then pay the bill of the refreshments and the rest of the money we uh, uh, we used to give it to the presenter and we used to tell the presenter that you are the uh, uh, you are the host of this program so uh, you are the master of these ceremonies you, you we are using this type of uh, policies and we are maintaining this and uh, we have a connection to each other and that is why we don't uh, we don't have face, face any problems and um, what I say uh, this is the reality that we have to face different type of problems to run a um, dif this type of adda this type of chatting uh, a cafe, ref I'm managing refreshments, tea, but but that is not a big issue. The main thing is we are very successful in our uh, procedure, in our process, and uh, we get energy from each other. We get energy from each other. The presenter, we took energy from the presenter. The presenter took energy from us, and the main thing is. Uh, it's, it's really very conceptual and very innovative idea. I, uh, it's very enjoyable, enjoyable and it's okay. We don't, uh, it's, it's a continuous process nowadays. And uh, we, used, we, did some, we did one seminar out of our cafe. Uh, it's in another public university, we did a seminar. We have another different plans to do a, more seminars. We want to publish a, a booklet type uh, as an archival for our Shoni Mongol cafe. And I think it will uh, help our next generation to know about uh, 
the movement of art or the thinking process of any person, not only artist, any professional person can express their feelings, their thoughts. So it, it is, uh, we want to archive it and it's, it will help next generation to acknowledge their, acknowledge themselves. Mm, that's it. And um, uh, this, this is a, a picture of Cafe Rili. Uh, the, three of the artists, six are, I told you six run, artists run cafe. There are three persons here. And uh, we decorate the place in our way when the six artists run that cafe. So it's, I, I think you enjoyed the pictures by this time. So if you have any questions, uh, you can see a video. Yes, you can show it. One of our uh, famous uh, artists, Naima Hawks, one, I took one of his, her video here. No, no need to. Uh, no, need to. no need to sound? No, need to sound. No. Just, just to see the process, we do it, just to see. So, um, thank you very much for hearing me. Thank you. So, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Wong Ta Ying, but as uh, Ravi said, uh, uh, they usually call me KY because Ka Ying it's K A Y I N G. So, they call me KY usually. And I myself is an artist, and uh, I've graduated from my art school for now six years and uh, this is my first time come to Bangladesh and uh, uh, Dakar Submit and thanks for inviting. And uh, Hong Kong Artists Union, I don't know if you have read any news about us recently, um, especially this year because we have a kind of um, high higher exposure this year because of the protest and uh, some other activities that we initiated. So here we come to share some of our experience. And Artists Union is established in 2016 and I'm one of the advocators. And uh, there, are, um, there are 20 to 30 advocators and they're all local Hong Kong artists. And uh, I'm mainly uh, responsible for press and um, public relations, so that's why I'm here. Two of my colleagues is, well, aren't able to get their visa done on time, so <laughs> they teach me and uh, I'm alone here. And uh, although we have 400 members, but there are only like 40 core members who are actively involved in our uh, activities or any uh, movements that we want to do. And uh, we are in a round table form instead of committee. Uh, it was not something come up after discussion. It's just went this way naturally because you cannot command artists to do something. And then you cannot ask them to, uh, yeah, in Hong Kong we cannot <laughs> to attend some meeting on time. We, at first we have some regular meetings, but then we change the form in meeting in openings and art events because they find it more convenient. And then now we shift the way of communication online because for quicker uh, response and uh, conclusion. And uh, that's why we are round table. And now uh, the leaderless, um, accents of the union, it's kind of realized also in the protest that we don't actually need a neither to follow, but everyone can take up the issues that they're interested in and follow up and uh, to go and develop what they want to do. And um, we have a lot of associations in Hong Kong related to art, for example, the Visual Art Society or the Sculpture um, Association, but not an uh, artist union. So we are the first of a kind. And uh, and uh, off since we established, and there are so many global unions connection. Uh, for example, in uh, Berlin and uh, London and uh, New York. Well, some of them, it's not actually a union, but uh, more like um, some of them are co-op, and some of them are, uh, it's a parties, and then there's many new ideas come up to, come to us. And uh, the artist union are mostly, in Hong Kong, it's, uh, we always make jokes of ourselves. We are actually uh, dealing with rich kids' problem because uh, most of our problem it's about money, and uh, we have a lot of fights and argument on uh, is artists a job or is it appropriate to chase after your artist fee? But what? 
that's our all theoretical discussion, but come to practical, we when, when people own us money, we need to do something. Uh, so we most of the time follow up labor and money debuts. For example, um, we handled two cases of galleries closed down in Hong Kong and they actually own, uh, uh, keep the artist's work and also keep the collector's money at the same time, but they disappeared. So we kind of gather this, um, these cases and go to court. And then we also have small claims tribunal about the artist fee and any kind of money that you want to get back. Because in the Hong Kong law, uh, if you are a union member, union can send representative to the court to fight for you. But if you are a single person, you can only defend yourself by yourself. So if there is uh, someone uh, we actually learn from other uh, sisters union. We are allied with the cleaning workers union and the freelancer union and promoter union because under the Hong Kong labor law, we are actually artists. Uh, the nature of being an artist, it's kind of uh, similar with cleaning workers because we don't have a uh, you know permanent contract with certain galleries or institutions. We work on projects or outsource tender. So uh, we, we always learn from these unions. Um, and also we get free legal consultation and a copyright issue. It's actually the law thing and also the education. Uh, recently we had a series of uh, law uh, education talk, uh, legal consultation, because some of our collectors are actually lawyers and they want to help us to uh, help us to learn how to make a proper agreement and do not fall into trap because many fresh graduates from art school come to us saying that they have signed some contract that it's unfair and then we want to stop from the from the beginning and I ask them to look into the contract before they sign and also we do a lot of exhibitions um, uh, at first, uh, we we uh, we had two different uh, division. Now, one it's go for the real artist daily life, or presenting uh, another side of artist to the people about art laboring, and the other side it's more about freedom of speech or freedom of creation. And we also make a lot of questionnaires and write a lot of articles, really irritating, and <laughs> to get people attention and to collect statistic when we want to negotiate with government or the Hong Kong government or with the institution and the big museums. And also petitions and open letters. So here are some of the photos of our, this is the legal consultation talk organized by artists ourselves. So these are all senior artists in Hong Kong sharing some ridiculous cases they have came across. And uh, I, we seem civilized in Hong Kong, but actually they, uh, before the union established, they solve problems in uncivilized ways, you know. <laughs> Under the table or fight again each other or just do not make friends with each other anymore. But now we want to put the gossip on the table and make it official to prevent similar things happen again. So um, it's really, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if people come because they want to listen to gossip or do, if they really want to learn something, but every time we did these talks, people come and ask a lot of questions. And uh, this is one of the meetings of our union. It's actually they are discussing the strategy of protest to avoid police uh, caught us on, or to avoid the museum aware of us before the security stop us. So we ha have a lot of strategy meetings. And then uh, we, we draw plans of how people gather and how we run away if they come to us. <laughs> it's very serious, but in my personal experience, they do not work that way on site. It just improvises and uh, get prepared. And this is some of the event we did before in Tycoon because of the margin incident that Tycoon it's, uh, occasionally want to stop doing a book launch which is um, re related to politics because they said that uh, this, the public funded area should not have any activities that is related to politics. But under big pressure, they uh, at last uh, keep the book launching happen. And this is the most recent uh, uh, things we cooperate with the Parasite Hong Kong and uh, uh, non-profit art space in Hong Kong that uh, they uh, 
they do exhibitions and a lot of things. I think most of you are familiar with them. But um, there is some problem we actually want to talk with them for years that they gave a fixed artist prize uh, for every exhibition for every artist, even the artist collective. And then we kind of want to raise the money because, uh, you know, inflection. And then <laughs> we need to pay. And also uh, for the auction every year, people donate to the para donate to Parasite and also they ask work from us. And then we donate our work, but we don't get back our production fee or anything. Uh, because most of our work are actually consigned to the gallery and gallery donate to the, to the auction. You know, Parasite is not the first who do auction. There are a lot of institutions in Hong Kong to do these kind of charity auctions. But at the end, artists get nothing. But you know, that we also, we always have a false hope that, oh, you'll get fame in the market if you get a good prize during these charity auctions. But uh, it's, we get a dream, and but we don't get food from this. So we negotiate with, um, well actually it's not negotiate, we usually we seek for cooperation, but not disturbing. But you know, we don't want to act like we are, we are bad ass, but most of the time people think that we are troublesome. But we actually seek cooperation and we are a group of nice artists. So <laughs> here are some, um, we collected uh, problems from our members that are real problems that we are facing to be an artist in Hong Kong and made these short videos and played it during the auctions of the Parasite. And, and the result, it's happy, and I'll tell you why after this video. <coughs> Is it big enough? I think. Okay.
So the results is that Parasite extend their uh, employers' insurance to cover artists' medical and dental in needs as well. So uh, for us artists, if we work with Parasite recently, then we can go to see doctors or to check our teeth for half year for free. At least you save something. And we are still fighting for more um, welfare, covering uh, our artists' daily expenses. And uh, Parasite did a good role model to, to um, sparkle. Other institutions may follow in the future. Although we had a very developed uh, commercial art market in Hong Kong, for example, we have big international galleries, branches in Hong Kong. We have art fair from Art Hong Kong to Art Basel Hong Kong, numerous um, auctions happen here, but our uh, income or the not only about income, but also the inflection, as I mentioned. Uh, being an artist in Hong Kong, our our reward is it reward or our cost? It's uh, irrelevantly high, and no one actually look into the issues. So. The union take up these dirty words to, to talk about the, the real things that we have to face every day. And here come the really dirty part about the freedom of speech that we need to fight, still fighting before the extra condition bill in Hong Kong. Well, actually, there are some erotic laws in Hong Kong that have banned you. Uh, for example, the Statue of David, it's, uh, uh, it's prohibited for people under 18 in Hong Kong because of the censorship of government and, uh, it, and many more ridiculous cases. And it's kind of related to the uh, freedom of speech as well. So for, at that time, we also follow cases about uh, the limit of censorship. But then after the extra conditional law, and we look into the article of Hong Kong that we actually, Hong Kong article need to uh, uh, have to fulfill and to fully utilize our power of using the freedom of speech to voice out uh, no matter uh, pro-government or anti-government you have you should have the right to speak and so this is a brief timeline of what happened in Hong Kong last year if you do not have an idea that uh, why people putting on fire on streets and um, but that's only, you know, an iceberg of the whole incident. Uh, uh, why I have to mention these uh, protestings because it is the first time that in Hong Kong art history that uh, are, are successful strike it's going on but uh, in my opinion it's not only because of the organization of union it's also because of the momentum of the society the the stress from the public discussion that also forced the museum and the institutions in hong kong to shut down for the day in a general strike and as a result there are over a hundred museums uh closed down that day, and then we can talk about it later. And uh, so I want to share more about the leaderless things uh, and of the Hong Kong Artists Union, because when we meet other unions, other unions always have a chair lady or chairman, or uh, they have a committee meetings regularly, but we do not have any. But we usually we divide it into teams to follow different issues, and each teams may have a lead role, but they don't. we don't actually follow them, and then we keep uh, and uh, opposing, we uh, actually we oppose each other's ideas more often than agree with each other. So if you don't agree with someone, you just don't do the work with him or her together. You start something new, and uh, we appreciate and respect of every new ideas. Just do not uh, get us into trouble, into legal trouble. It will be fine. And this is the exhibitions, I guess, Marie. Uh, encounter in Hong Kong. So at first, the curator asked the union to participate because of the art labor uh, curatorial direction. They want us to show a daily life to be an artist in Hong Kong. But then the protests break out, and then we our, our shooting 
crew found that the daily life of artists is going on streets. So we collect items or play cards that we created during protests and demonstrations. And also we made a VR video that immerse, uh, asking people to immerse in the real protest. And you're wearing the glass, you can experience what actually happened. And listen to the narrative of the artists talking about their feelings and what they have seen, what they have heard during the days. And these are the sketches of the students, art students. They seek help. Uh, to uh, they seek help from the union because at that day, all students, most of the students uh, will be uh, caught and searched on the street by police because they uh, assume that they are the initiator of protest. And uh, people taking pictures are very sensitive because the police or the protester both don't want to be record the face, or will be get we'll be getting, get them into trouble. So the art students suggest to do sketches on site to do a historical record of these protests. But they are afraid that they're being caught and searched, so they ask the union to match them up with some established artists and also some journalists to go with them, so to uh, safeguard them. And then we did twice or three times to use drawing to record what, to record what happened during the protest. And these are another group of painters and uh, artists. They initiate uh, uh, sketching activities uh, in between the roots of protest and uh, draw people's attention. And rather than walking along the route, they stop at a point and then to draw on site and then ask people to stop and think twice and then to observe what actually happened now. And uh, they actually ask all the so-called non-artists, because you know everyone can draw, and then they dig out their, uh, you know, the drawings in their closet and their home, and then bring it to the street and endure uh, flash mob exhibitions. Many of them are actually neighborhood in the community. They are not uh, artists, but we appreciate uh, the joy that we are sharing the drawing because at that time, well, still now, the atmosphere in the society is really low. That people don't actually, uh, if they do not know each other political stand, they don't really talk to each other. So by sharing arts and then drawings together, it's, it's kind of art therapy, I think, and uh, to group people together peacefully. And then we actually do some kind of performance art thing, but whenever you gather, you will attract police to come and caught you. So it's actually didn't not they come and stop us before we start the performance and then we just put it online and then when we talk and try to explain to them we are actually doing some art thing, they just think that we are finding troubles and they stop us. And this is one of a member, this is the protest at, in the Hong Kong International Airport. And one of our member wrote a calligraphy and then placed there. And the protester just automatically post, uh, stick the post it around the calligraphy and then make a huge collage in the airport to welcome every visitors coming to Hong Kong. And now we have kept this banner and then uh, because it's uh, kind of, it's uh, thousands people creations. And this is some of the pictures of our protest. And this is another exhibition that we distribute helmets of different color and ask people to draw on it and write on it and then to pass on to safeguard everyone in the city. And, uh, we, and we mourn for the death protester before the exhibition start. And these are all the neighborhood in the Kettle Depot. Uh, it's an artist village uh, near the residential area. So all the neighborhoods come to our exhibitions and mourn for the death. And uh, so, um, so this is how we run our union so far. We had a group chat with uh, that's 40 core members, and uh, and also we have different apps because you know we are very concerned about safety of communication nowadays because it's we it's getting more dangerous and dangerous nowadays to do organized activities in Hong Kong that you may be uh, put into jail because of this. So we keep it in an anonymous way. You can find names on the internet who is the member, but you, we protect 
uh, each other that we usually didn't disclose who are the initiator of each activities. And uh, if we receive the request from press or some kind of cooperation, we just spread in the group chat and then see who take up the job. And um, Yes, and then we f we hope that we can grow up bigger core members to share the obligation and the you know the responsibility because it when it comes to the legal problem or the government is their hegemony you know you can never know what you face tomorrow or what you cap can what you do can put you into jail. So um, so we have different team here. Uh, people just do what they want to do, and then we don't force people to follow up things. So if people are neat on writing, they were just doing the translating things, and then if people are doing fact check, they would just go on and check if we shall spread the news. And then we have IT team who build the website or uh, who gather emails to, to, uh, to collect news from different people and all the other things. So we, uh, we embrace the uh, collective powers instead of big names because before the union established, they usually ask the big names artists in Hong Kong to voice out when there are some unfair thing happen. So it's like begging them to stand, stand up for them. But now using the name of the union is like a camouflage or an umbrella so that they can voice out even their small people. If we group together, we have bigger voice to talk about some issues. But uh, we tend to, we always aware, remind ourselves to be extra polite because if you gather together, it's like uh, nationalism and then you can be very rude, like a gang. But we don't want to be like that. Just because we are a group of big number of people doesn't mean that uh, we are uh, irrational. Uh, we want to give, you know, fact-checked evidence and, uh, uh, reasoning and then to negotiate too. Because a collective uh, bargaining power, it's not uh, legal in Hong Kong because it is voted out by pro-government trade union, federation of trade union, which is ironic. So uh, our negotiation with institutions and museum is actually not protected by law. We can only use press, the power of press or the power of the public discussions to make them think twice before they make the decisions. So um, we had to write a lot and do a lot of negotiation work. And also, as I said, we usually ban each other and I think this is the most, uh, this is the most uh, enlightened point that when I joined the union because if everyone is agree with each other, we can never find a blind spot that we may actually touch us some ethical concerns and issues that we may fall into the trap of, uh, for example, xenophobia or nationalism or just be making decisions irrationally. But if there is always a voice of the opposite side inside the union, we can think twice or three times or four times before we take any actions. And so this is one of the results on the strike that we actually, uh, we didn't talk uh, to the press that we actually asked some of the um, artists who have shown in the Venice Biennale, the Hong Kong Pavilion was actually our members and then we asked for the last 12 years artists to undersign a letter and write to M plus and give the power to Shelley to negotiate with the M plus to shut down the Venice Biennale for just one day. And, and it somehow happened, but in a way that the internship and the staff need to take a uh, leave, no paid leave on that day. But this is the best we can do. And this is the very first time we have tried to organize a strike. Uh, but we know that we can do better next time. At least they don't need to get a low pain leave. <laughs> and yeah. And, and for the LACO one, the LACO, uh, Hong Kong government bought a lot of art from the Hong Kong artists and showing the Legislative Council when the protesters storm in and the LACO, and they actually put down the 
the artwork on the floor and then spray it on it. And then we gather all the artists to uh, make an open letter saying that destroying the artwork, it's not that uh, important. The more important, it's uh, the relationship of the citizens, the civilians and the government, it's broken. So uh, the priority of uh, repairing the work is less than repairing the city. So I ask the government to listen to the protesters and then the, these kind of chaos will hand stop it. So to not to blame the protester of destroying the works. And uh, this is some of the other uh, actions that we may think of to follow up, but then we are now, it's in other crises about the coronaviruses hit the city, and uh, most of the art events in Hong Kong, it's being stopped or delayed or postponed. And uh, we heard a lot of uh, voices about our life, our income of being an artist will be then affected. And we are now working on it and to see how to compensate. For example, if an uh, art festival is postponed, it's the artist fee or it's the contract still uh, applicable to the certain situation or our insurance is covering the coronaviruses, things, yeah. <clears throat> So, um, and then we have some good news for the protest that we actually have three members going on the council, the district council uh, election. And one is Su Si Law, and one is uh, Tin Yan Wong, and one is Clara Zhang from the CNG running for the district council election. And they all three won. So they are now, uh, except being an artist, they are now a full time district councillor. So if you're for example, your toilet doesn't work in your home, you can call them and ask them to deal with it. And now they are busy sourcing masks for everyone in town. And then you can just, this is ridiculous, you know, an artist making uh, political posters and then we all laughed about <laughs> the poster. And, uh, but there, um, I think the art sense, it's more slightly better than other uh, <laughs> the candidates so that they may, Maybe they win because of their posters. Yeah. So uh, I, we hope to introduce the union to the world because at the end we need to connect, connect the point to point and then to work together because there are so many, for example, ecology problems, economic problems, social problems that we seek cooperation within countries. And uh, please, if you have any problems or any suggestion or any complaint about the union, because we receive a lot of complaint about if artists really need a union, just feel free to write to, uh, write to us and then we accept any kind of, even foul language. <laughs> you can follow us on the Facebook. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentations. It's very different from one another, so I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm going to try to do actually. Uh, before, we have for sure what we have is like 30 minutes, yes, Maria Ellen? Uh, about 30 minutes. Can I ask kindly Mr. Buba to uh, come to the front again? Thank you, Ms. Otobong, to become like the translator. Uh, yeah, yeah oh, KY is passing out stickers. Uh, one thing that maybe I want to ask you to talk more is actually like the choice of the structure or format. Like, you know, why cooperative? Why is your union becoming like that? And how it relates to the law? Or why, why did you, six of you, decide to still be in a cafe and then whether it makes sense to go around and then you keep the looseness of the structure, yes? If I understand it correctly. I think like maybe I, I, wanna, I wanna hear more about that. Uh, yeah, whoever wants to start, you can. Oui, alors donc, pourquoi? Pourquoi je le les choix de la coopérative? La coopérative, pardon, les statuts de coopérative? 
Um, why I chose this, the cooperative or the statue, or why we chose the statue of the cooperative? Uh, en fait, c'est une raison qui correspond à notre société. It's a, a structure. It's a reason that corresponds to our society. Vous savez que la société africaine c'est collective. You know that the uh, African society is a, is a collective. Nous sommes nés dans la collectivité. We are born in collectivity. Nous tous les travaux c'est fait en collectif. The works and what we do is done within the collective. Et ici on n'a pas le temps de voir tout ça mais on a on, euh, euh, dans les champs. In the farms. Jamais on, oui. on voit un enfin, mais c'est madame dans les champs. C'est toujours tous les villages. Um, we never see just um, a husband and the wife in the fields, but we see the whole village in the fields. Alors nous avons choisi euh, cette forme de regroupement, bien que la société a changé. We chose this form of grouping or grouping, even though the society has changed. Alors maintenant, nous pouvons dire qu'il y a aussi des raisons économiques. We can also say that there are economical reasons. C'est beaucoup moins cher de travailler en groupe que de travailler individuellement. It's much, much cheaper to work as a group than to work individually. Alors, au pays, au Mali, au moment de l'indépendance, so in Mali, the mom, in the moment of independence, les gouvernements de l'époque voulaient en, mettre en valeur tous les systèmes africains. Um, the government, government at that time wanted to put up the value of the African systems. Et il a même fait euh, euh, Permet, permis aux paysans they even permitted to farmers de se regrouper to have a to group to come together de faire de, de faire des champs collectifs to be able to make um, collective farms alors bien que chaque famille avait son champ even though each family had their own farms ces champs collectifs euh, la, la, la production allait dans un magasin and from this um, the with this collective, the products went to a shop or to shops. Uh, on ne sait jamais si jamais il ne pleuvait pas beaucoup. And if, for example, it did not rain much. Et la production de justement ces champs collectifs permet aux autres, on fait tout le monde de se euh, nourrir. Um, it, um, the production of the whole collective allowed for everybody to have food. Bon, notre cas précis. But in this precise case. Et nous avons vécu en Europe. We lived in Europe. Et nous vivons encore en Europe. And we still live in Europe. Et on a dit que nous allons mettre quelque chose en place qui ressemble un peu à nos anciens systèmes. So we said we're going to put something in place that resembles the old system. Alors c'est pourquoi nous avons choisi des statues comme on, comme on a appelé notre coopérative. And that's why we chose this status that we call our cooperative. Multifonctionnel which is multifunctional de somankidi kura o somankidi kura et au niveau de la loi and in front of the law nous avons droit de faire tout we have the right to do everything on peut faire de l'agriculture we can do agriculture on peut faire l'élevage we can do we can raise animals et mais actuellement nous avons même ou faire des de pisciculture so we also do um, fish farming Voilà, c'est la raison pour laquelle, That's the reason why, pour ne pas être trop long, nous avons choisi des statuts coopératifs. That's why we chose this um, status, the cooperative status. Uh, as I mentioned, there are a lot of associations uh, related to art in Hong Kong, but most of them only deal with issues. They only do some lux things or decent things, and they do not actually talk about the real difficulties that we have been facing for years. And uh, and now, uh, uh, yeah, you, you remember the uh, the chance that we made? It's because of Come Inside, the artist duel that I formed with Mac, with another artist. And then we actually experienced different kind of jobs in Hong Kong, right? 
One of them is to get the insurance license in Hong Kong. Then we need to go to the court, the, the course, and to learn about the insurance policy and also the labor law in Hong Kong. That's why we learn about, actually, if we form a union, we can buy a group uh, insurance that can secure everyone. If you get hurt when you're setting up the exhibitions, or uh, as I mentioned, the uh, small claim tribunal that you can be the representative. So we find a full set of union law under the Hong Kong basic law. But uh, for the cooperative, uh, we saw a lot of examples. For example, the Belgium Smart or the one uh, mentioned. Uh, it doesn't, um, we have a kind of mature commercial art market in Hong Kong already. We have commission work, consign work, and uh, there are a lot of examples of contracts. And uh, Hong Kong artists, it's not that, um, it's not working in a group, in a general practice. So our union celebrate individualism, that's why we use the word molder too, that we keep everyone uniqueness, but when we need someone's help, we ask the people with certain kind of strength to give their, the, to to help us, to, and uh, to be honest, we have different politics, beliefs, or many theoretical argument within the group. But some of the basic values that uh, most of us are holding make us strive for the same goal. For example, it's more related to morality or dignity thing. That at some point, at some certain point, we agree that. For example, like the sticker said, if someone uh, someone agreed to pay you after you laboring, art laboring, that he should pay you on time, or he should pay you based on the agreement. It's, does, it's nothing related to a power theory or ideology. It's just something that ought, need to be done. So um, that's why we choose to form a union. And uh, we are a union, a mixed type, employees and employers, not only being employed by the others. We also work for ourselves, we also work for others, we also hire someone. So in the terms of if artists, it's a job, or you only work for someone or fulfilling others' request, we have still have a long road to discuss, but uh, what the, the actual works we union now tackle, it's about can we survive as an artist in Hong Kong, and that's, why, that's why we think that union, it's, uh, it's a way that worth to try. I cannot say it's the best way or the most suitable way for Hong Kong artists, but in these highly capitalized society in Hong Kong, uh, union, it's definitely a way to go for. <laughs> why, why do you keep the format like that because there's like you know it's very organic and loose let's say with you compared to a union you know especially or a cooperative that has a certain association with the word itself but how to explain what you're doing with your friends is kind of like you know loose no yes uh, the cafe maybe makes it grounded but mm -hmm. but but is it why do you choose that format and structure uh, because um, we don't want any form. All of them, all of us uh, who are related with Shoni Mongol Adda, we don't want, want any form. A particular uh, um, rules and regulations. Because when rules and regulations comes, it makes it some troubles. But in otherwise, it makes uh, also do things easily. It can move anything easily but Shoni Mongol Adda thinks that um, we don't have we don't need any platform we don't need any rules but we have a, a inner connection with each other and we want to gather different professionals peoples here in Shoni Mongol Adda to express their emotions that I told you before and as there is no rules so everybody will feel very comfortable here that is our main uh, motto. Uh, everybody will be comfortable here. Uh, and we, uh, as I told you, that uh, we don't have any curator, we don't have any uh, selection, like senior artist will come or senior persons will come. 
सो सीनियर जूनियर सीनियर जूनियर आर्टिस्ट और सीनियर जूनियर थिंकर वट एवर आई से दे विल दे आर मोस्ट वेलकम हेयर दे कैन एक्सप्रेस देयर फीलिंग्स सो इट्स ए इट्स ए ओपन प्लेटफॉर्म वी वी आर ओपन आवर आर्म्स आर ओपन फॉर ऑल इट्स ए ओपन प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल आर मोस्ट वेलकमिंग हेयर कम सीट गॉसिप विथ आस एक्सप्रेस योर फीलिंग्स एक्सप्रेस योर थॉट्स एंड and just we talk each other we discuss discussed about that matter uh, if the uh, presenter wants to talk in in a specific topic we discuss with uh, him or her uh, then it's over uh, not um, uh, so that's why our economical part is also loose like uh, we don't have any fixed uh, money uh, going coming or whatever i say and uh, that is the way that we we collect the money in a piggy bank we count it give the bills and the rest of the money we just uh, honor to the host give to the host and just to uh, honor him it's a very small amount of money that's his honor from shoni mongol adda and whoever comes first in the shoni mongol adda he can own shoni mongol adda there is no barrier there is no barrier uh, Uh, i think uh, in our experience uh, group form or registered form or a specific platform sometimes makes everything rigid so we want to organic that was that's why i told my first line is that organic utopian and untiring movement that is why shoni mongol adda uh keep it for now uh, because like i want to continue that one and then after that i think we can And then I, after that, I'll shut up. Uh, uh, continuing to that, it's just like because learning from my own practice with my friends, one of the things that is a reflection of how we do things is actually how we make decisions. You Not know, the decision making strategy, like who, or like uh, you understand decision making, uh, like how to make certain decisions. Why? we do things we do and then you know and piggy bank decision you know who yes. made that one and how did you come up with that with the cafe you know like uh, who make those types of decisions and how did you get into that decision uh, um as i told you that uh, there are six and seven members the, the, those who feels from the Uh, starting of shoni mongol adda 2016 that we have to sit together we have to uh, make the adda valuable uh, make the gossip valuable that's why we sit together and when we sit uh, repeatedly like saturday tuesday saturday tuesday in every week every month then we think that uh, um, um, as we are artists we are not so well uh, um, what i say well balanced well formed so we need some money uh, to be to sit here to sit together to make the bill to give the bill of the refreshments then uh, after a long discussion we discussion. yeah through discussion yeah we discussed uh, we discussed a lot in every part of the decision of in a, we discussed a lot and then we take a final decision that's it okay have you ever made fourth fourth thing no uh, sorry voting like one man one vote like you know agree disagree all those ah uh, yes 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 we did voting we we, we did voting sometimes if needed but uh, i told you that we have a connection to each other because all of we maximum all of we are from uh, faculty of fine arts all our art is art background so uh, we can understand each other uh, concept and uh, mentality so it's very easy to take a decision for uh, for us and if anybody um, disagree with the decision okay let's see let's go do with on with your way let's see what happens if it is wrong then we will come back to again our decision very flexible you know thank you decision making no okay why maybe you no, i don't know it's up to you Uh, we are we are extremely careful to make decision because no one want to take the responsibility <laughs> and uh that's why we come back and forth back and forth and uh, but then 
uh, it usually comes to a dead end when there are no more opposed, no more rejection. They usually they won't say I agree with this, but they keep silence. <laughs> and then what well, uh, group chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Telegram, Facebook chat, and WhatsApp. And uh, yeah, say no. Yes. And uh, if there's no objection, then we'll go ahead. And if someone stand up and take the uh, responsibility and take the duty to follow up, and then they will agree. Because most of them are really trouble works and really frustrating work. For example, typing thousand words of emails. <laughs> and, then, and when you uh, send out the draft to every member, suddenly everyone become experts of proofreading <laughs> and then to suggesting replacing words by words. So we hope to, um, uh, to build an atmosphere to appreciate people's efforts by saying, by do not bend, do not, it's, it's not bend, do not uh, criticize that much if someone take the job. And uh, if there is no objection, then decisions are made. If there is a big problem, there usually someone, for example, like me, say that, oh, we can't do this, it's too dangerous, or it's not politically correct. And uh, that's why I uh, emphasize that it's really important to keep an opposing force inside the organization to keep our mind clear. Bon, et pour euh, nous, au niveau prise de décision, uh, for us, um, with regards to decision making, c'était tout simple, comme, comme j'avais dit tout à l'heure, nous en Afrique, um, it's, it's quite simple, as I said earlier on, we in Africa, et nous, on, on prend jamais une décision tout seul. We never take decisions alone. C'est ce que les, les Toubabs ont appelé l'arbre à palabre. That's what the Toubab would say. Huh? The, the Europeans, oh yeah, Toubab. Oui. The Europeans would say the, um, the Toubab is Europeans, the way they call it. C'est une, une forme de décision qu'ils on, ont trouvé ça en Afrique. Et quand on a une, quelque chose à faire, on se réunit tous, on prend des décisions ensemble. Um, it's a form that we take that when we have um, a decision to make, we come together and then around a tree and then we make those decisions. Voilà, et puis c'est quelque chose qui est dans notre, dans notre tradition, qui continue comme ça. Il n'y a pas un individu qui impose. C'est pourquoi nous avons le problème au niveau, au niveau de la modernité. So that's the thing that because we all come together to have these discussions, it's quite complicated sometimes. And that's why we also have sometimes a problem with regards to modernity. Et nous, notre vie par rapport à la vie moderne, our lives with regards to the modern life, et pour nous, nos présidents, ce sont des dictateurs. for us, our presidents are dictators. Parce que le président, parce qu'on a voté pour lui, il, il prend la décision tout seul. Nous, ce n'est pas dans nos traditions. So, for our presidents, we vote for him, and then he takes the decisions alone, and that is not in our traditions. Et puis nous, on a beaucoup, on a beaucoup de mal à obéir des décisions politiques. And so we have, it's quite difficult for us to obey those political decisions. Voilà, c'est pour répondre à vos questions. La décision, c'est toujours, elle est toujours prise au niveau collectif. The decisions are mainly made um, within the collective. L'arbre à palabre, that's... L'arbre à palabre. I know what it means because he, I didn't finish that phrase. And when he talks about the Europeans call it l'arbre à palabre, I think it's like Palabra is like a problem, discussion around the tree. Yeah. At, around a tree. So you sit around the tree, the tree, and then we have discussions. And that's what the Euro Europeans called l'arbre à palabre. Uh, anyone else? Thanks so much for this incredible session. Again, it was very interesting today, the whole uh, day. So I wanted to ask uh, to Buba, because it's so a strong project that the film was incredible, to see also how you developed the project. 
and I wanted to understand the you're you're almost a model in a certain way that now <clears throat> is 40 year. What kind of impact has it? Is there other communities, other people that are coming to to learn from you, or is this a project that you have seen is also scalable? That it has been developed in another context, uh, other regional context, or beyond in these last years? Okay. And I pose that question for savoir quel impact the other projects have had for these 40 years. Et est-ce que ça a eu des effets avec d'autres communautés Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres personnes qui sont venues dans cette communauté pour pouvoir faire des choses Comment les choses ont changé depuis ces 40 ans Ah, ça c'est une question très importante. Et euh, pour répondre à, à, à la question précise... So that the question you've asked is very important. And actuellement, actually, au, au bord du fleuve Sénégal... Around the, board, the edges of the Senegal River... Il y a des cultures maraîchères partout. There is a lot of um, culture um, uh, maraîchère, uh, maraîchère, uh, irrigation, yes, around that. On était les premiers. We were the first. C'est pourquoi on, nous sommes très fiers de nous. That's why we're so proud of ourselves. <laughs> nous avons, vous savez, nous en Afrique, on dit la mort définitive n'existe pas. Um, you know, in Africa, we say the def definite death does not exist. Pour nous en Afrique, quand on meurt, on revient. For us, it's when we die, we come back. <laughs> Mais je précise avant l'arrivée des de religions étrangères. And that is to, that he, precise, he says this precisely, this was before the arrival of foreign religions. Parce que pour nous, le, la, la religion chrétienne comme l'islam, ce sont des religions étrangères. So for us, like Christian religion or Islamic religion are foreign re religions. Donc actuellement, il y a des Africains qui ont la nation de mort définitive. So now there are people, the Africans, that have the notion of de definitive death. Mais moi, ma génération, moi, j'étais élevé dans l'animisme. But in, from my generation, we're born and we were bred and born with animism. Même dans euh, dans la, la la société en général, c'est l'islam. But in the general society, it's Islam. Mais c'est un Islam africain. But it's African Islam. Nous croyons toujours la force de nos ancêtres. We believe and pray to uh, for African forces. Nous qui avons fondé cette coopérative. We that founded the cooperative. On a fait quelque chose que en tout cas nous sommes immortels. We have done something that is uh, Et je suis immortal, très content d'être immortel. Immortal. Yes. Alors c'est pour répondre précisément en tout cas il y a actuellement il y a beaucoup beaucoup de maraîchères de coopératives dans la région. So there are many many irrigations and cooperatives in the region now. On était les premiers. We were the first. À faire l'agriculture en dehors de la saison de pluie. But to do um, agriculture out of the season the rainy season. Et avant les gens attendaient la pluie. And before people will wait for the rain. Maintenant personne attend la pluie. Now we don't wait for the rain. On était les premiers. We were the first. <laughs> he answered the question? He answered the question? Okay. Thank you very much. Great. I have three questions, actually. Each one, one for each one. Une pour uh, one for KW. Un pour K K -Y. K -Y. Sorry, sorry for that. And I wanted to ask you, because it's extremely interesting, how you sustain yourselves with a union? Like if there is a contribution from every member, how your economy, when, I mean, some people work for this in the cases. So that's one question. And one question for Baba, if you have now um, women members in your team, I really salute your revolutionary spirits of, you know, how, yeah. And, and then a, a third question I was asking, like I was hearing uh, about your way of keeping open the structure in like very sort of fluid in terms of decision. And I wonder if this has to do with the current political situation in Bangladesh. Who wants to start? Maybe? Yes. Um, in current political situation, our fluidity doesn't make any difference because um, we are moving like in our own way. 
uh, we don't we don't want to bother anybody so why um, our society or our political situation bothers us i don't think so we don't yeah we don't have any problem and uh, your first question uh, you heard that we how we maintain our adda our um, gossipy chatty uh, matter uh, but personally with those who we gathers over there uh, in shoni mongol adda we did some but we we have some um we have some profession to make ourselves uh, uh easy in um stable in and uh, in economical side so uh, we want to do art but we want to live in art uh, so um, we love art uh, and we w love gossiping we love to gather together so money may, it's a matter but with the small amount of money what we collected we managed to uh, do everything on that way and as we are serving in our own way um in one own profession so it's not make any problem <laughs> thank you yeah Oh. Um, financially wise, we actually, union actually keep ourselves zero income in our bank because to avoid auditing cost <laughs> because we are a registered union and every time we receive artist fee and then we told the artist participated for example exhibitions that now we have these amount of artist fee we have these amount of artists then we would divide this fee into uh, according divided them accordingly and give it back for them to compensate the, the artwork cost. And if there's any activities that need extra cost, then we crowdfund because we have a lot of members. For example, the stickers and the badges that we made, actually we just collect few dollars from each people. Then we can make a, a, a number of things to distribute. And uh, most of the workload, it's voluntary because uh, we all know that union is not for earning money, but to do something for justice. So they're really to work for free but if we need to hire a professional translator for example we will crowdfund the fee to pay them to because if we are talking about the um, economic ethics within the market we should be a model or we should be the one who uh, adapt our own uh, beliefs and our practices la question. Tu t'en souviens la question? Oui, pour la femme. Oui, la femme. Et vous savez, nous, alors, le, la coopérative, les femmes qui sont là, nos, nos épouses actuellement, et ils sont membres entiers de la coopérative. Ok. So the women that are there are our wives, and they are complete members of the cooperative. Et donc elles ont les mêmes droits que nous. They have the same rights as us. Et les les autres qui sont venus à la coopérative and others that came to the cooperative tous ceux qui vivent à la coopérative all those that live in the cooperative tous les membres ont même droit every member has the right the same rights et même devoir and the same work to do donc on est femmes vous savez je suis dans une région comme je disais l'école n'était pas développée you know i was in a, in a region where the area was not developed et même euh, euh, l'école existe dans certains coins les jeunes filles n'allaient pas à l'école um, the schools um, existed in certain areas but the women did not go to school actuellement on a de, nos enfants qui sont devenus enseignants now our children have become teachers les filles qui sont devenues directrices de l'école our daughters have become direct um, directrice of the schools or donc nous avons les mêmes devoirs nous avons les mêmes droits les femmes comme les hommes we have the same rights we have the same needs and and devoirs like uh, duties um and so yeah they are full members of the community they have the same rights the same duties the same needs and yeah uh, the ne are we Alors les, les prochaines photos, il faut avoir les photos avec les toutes les membres aussi avec les femmes. Absolument. Alors vous savez les photos que vous, vous avez vues, c'est des anciennes photos. The, the photos that you saw are the old photos. Sinon actuellement, j'ai beaucoup beaucoup de photos avec les femmes. The, actually he has new photos <laughs> with mais, women. Mais yeah. malheureusement on, on peut pas tout voir, on n'a pas le temps mais on va le mettre sur le site comme ça vous verrez vraiment la vie de la vie de, 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 de 
de someone kiri kura. Yeah, so he, he, you have to check out the site. You'll have to put it on the site, but you'll be able to see all the pictures. Um, but he has a lot of photos, just that we don't have enough time to be able to talk Comme about ça, quand vous tapez Boba Touré, vous verrez tout. So when you click Boba Touré, you will see everything. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, the presentation. This is fantastic. Um, I want to talk more about gossip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, specifically, I really, KY, I w wanted to ask you about bringing the gossip um, to the table. Um, gossip as a, like a political act or a, has the capacity to really trace the contours of systemic barriers and oppression. Um, and I wanna, I'm curious about the conditions that foster um, a safe space for gossip to come forward. And I'm wondering if you could um, speak to um, how, your, um, pres uh, how, your, how your format allows for that, as well as um, for the uh, kind of loose structure that you have um, and how that um, supports the sharing of political gossip. <laughs> um, and as, as well as, for Buba, um, the the model that you mentioned earlier about form theater and how that also becomes um, a platform to to gossip or to again trace the contours of oppression and uh, issues um, in the society for everybody. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can do it. Should I do? Yeah. yeah, and uh, we, that's why we have a fact check team. Before we put the gossip on the table, we need to fact check every details. And we usually share the stories after settlement. So everything has a conclusion. And then every detail is real. And uh, we tend to keep it without judgment. We just put the facts on the table and discuss and to learn from the case. And uh, when we, we, we also bought two sides of the people into the union as well, and let them to make friends. So people, actually some of their critiques uh, say that we are lubricant of the capitalism and <laughs> to keep the machine running because we are trying to make friends, ask people to make friends because our art circle in Hong Kong is really small, everyone is knowing each other. Eventually we work together someday and then we don't want to crack uh, the, the community. But instead, we want to uh, put them together, even if there is a conflict before. People may did wrong one or twice, but they can do it better later. And people may did good uh, before, but they can make bad decisions in the future. Cause, and who knows? So we actually doing those kind of uh, talks, and uh, we. Uh, also need to review our contract to see about the the confidential uh, agreement of if we can release the name uh, of the institutions. Actually, most of them ask us to keep our mouth shut after settlement. Even the settlement is unfair. So we find ways to talk about it. Uh, for example, using uh, codes and numbers to replace their names. So it's very tactical when we share these cases. And uh, that's why institutions and museums find us sometimes really troublesome, because we can actually tell the press to make the story on the headlines. But instead of making it big, we want to share with our members first. Uh, the way, the, the re one of the reasons why we formed a union is because we are tired tired of hearing only gossip but no one actually deal with the issues or the logical problems or the ethical problems that hide within. And we take away the names, the problems still exist and we kill we can still think about it. So that's our way of sharing. And, uh, and then we come to the end of making friends again and uh, to make a make a step for them to step down the stage and then to be friending each other again and make the yeah make the market to run smooth again but I, yeah kind of like a well um, if they don't cooperate with us then we disturb them <laughs> but if they cooperate with us then be friends <laughs> yeah All right, Ali. 
Oui, oui, oui des, 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 des histoires qu'on entend, oui, oui, oui. on ne sait pas si c'est vrai oui, ou pas, oui, oui, oui. des gens qui se chamaillent entre eux, qui parlent. Dans vous savez, dans une société ou dans un, un groupe, you know, in a society or in a group, on ne peut pas éviter que les gens parlent comme ça à droite à gauche. Hein. We cannot stop people from talking left to right. Mais l'essentiel qu'on se mette d'accord sur l'essentiel. So what we do is to be to make decisions and to make um, um, decisions on the essentials. C'est pourquoi je disais tout à l'heure, on peut dire tout ce qu'on veut à droite à gauche, mais si on, nous avons une décision à prendre. So people can say everything they want to say and from left to right, but when we have to do what we have to do. Une fois que la décision est prise collectivement, Once the is done on peut dire tout ce qu'on veut à droite à gauche, mais ça ne comptera pas. Um, they can, things can be said left and right, but it doesn't go against the decision. Voilà, et nous, il faut il faut avoir des principes dans dans toute collectivité, il faut avoir des principes. So you have to have principles in all con, in co, on all collectives. That's et essential. Il faut que ces principes soient respectés par tout le monde. And those principles have to be respected by everyone. Amen. Une fois que c'est sinon tout ce qui s'est dit à droite à gauche, ça ne compte pas. So the things that are said left and right don't count. Et si on essaie, on essaie de tenir compte de tout ce qui s'est dit à droite à gauche, on ne peut pas s'en sortir. So if we have to take in consideration everything that is said left, right, center, we will not be able to continue to work. Uh, uh, Shani Mongol Adda is running for four years. In this time, uh, we don't face any political unrest uh, except election time. But on that time, we, we, uh, we have to close our Adda because for the uh, traffic, huge traffic, or some people are busy with the political matters, but I told you before that it doesn't bother, bother us. We go on our own way. Um, and another question was... Uh, another question was... Oh, gossiping is very important for us. <laughs> uh, we know that um, uh, without gossiping, your brains will not work. <laughs> Brainstorming uh, must be needed with gossiping. So, gossiping is very important for us. And uh, um, But we want to make the gossip uh, or chatting f effective. That's why we take a place like a cafe where we can sit, where we can take, um, refresh ourselves and make the gossiping more fruitful. And um, more protective way, yes. <laughs> what, uh, what are the conditions that make the space safe enough for uh, trust to, uh, uh, to exist and for gossip to flourish? That place, our cafeteria place, you are asking about our cafeteria place. Okay. Space that you share. Uh, yeah. And the connectivity that you share. Mm. Uh, No. Okay. No. It is. It is as it is safe because um, it's an artist-run cafeteria, uh, it's, and uh, um, I think we, we are not uh, gossip like that type of topic that makes any problem. Uh, we, technically, we avoid that type of uh, topics. And uh, uh, the thing is, um, whatever the matter we, um, whatever the topic the presenter presented over there uh, in our Adda, it gives us, uh, uh, obviously, it gives us some energy. We, no, we gather some knowledge from the presenter. And when we sit together, we discussed about different matters. It uh, not only um, um, unnecessary talks, it also uh, uh, different uh, issues we used to talk. And it gives a positive energy also. Um, as I think, as I s understand your question. Is it okay? Okay, thank you.
So let's gossip after this, no? Well, I, uh, for now, yeah, microphone is in the way of gossiping. So I'm just going to cut it for now. Thank you very much again for everyone. Uh, please give Thank a round of applause for everyone. Thank and I'll return the mic to 